Hey there, this is Mitch Anstein, and I'm going to show you how to install the shred sif command stuff into your Olex program. This is a take one, so obviously I don't know what I'm going to say. Alright, so what we need to do first is find the Olex 2 application. I'm going to go to my applications folder. Now this handy dandy pop-up isn't going to give me what I need. I need to actually open it up in the finder window and just conveniently it already pops up right there. I'm going to right click on it and what I actually need to do is look at its contents. This is a, a folder but it's being disguised as an application. So I'm going to show package contents which opens up this folder which you don't normally get to see nor do you get to search through it using Spotlight. I'm going to go into the contents folder I'm going to go into the Mac OS folder, and inside here are a lot of different files that you really shouldn't be mucking around with, except we are. Haha. Um, these Shell X things, if you have Shell X installed and running, then you likely have also done Shred Sif. I just happened to have found that already in here, so I was quite pleased to see that. But what Amy Sargent said to do was to head to your macro XLD folder, and we're going to open it up with text edit. Inside this text file is a whole series of commands, and you are going to come down here, and I, because it's a big folder or a big file, um, I just did Control F to uh, actually find Xprep. But Amy says, um, right after this xprep command, you should take the text that she sent to us, shred sif, and install it right here, or cut and paste it right into here. And that then tells the tells Olex2 two, Olex two, that if you type in shred sif, it'll just shred the sif. Surf's up, bro. And so after that sif has been shredded, you get the files that you one, the Excel, the HKL, and the res. So I've done that. That's in there. I then save it, and I close it, and I get rid of that so I don't make any other unintentional changes. I'm going to open up Olex 2. I'm also going to open up... Um, I'm going to open up a file, uh, a SIF that I downloaded recently. This is the SIF I downloaded recently. I'm going to get rid of this stuff here because I just want to show you how it works. This is a very recent structure from uh, inorganic uh, chemistry ASAPs. It's kind of a neat thing, like kind of like a cyclophane of sorts. No, not a cyclophane. What is that? What is that? No, it's just a, it's a cycle. It kind of looks like it. Yeah. So if you come over here now, that because I have shred sift installed, you'll notice extract right here. Extract res hkl, extract open directory, all that. Um, I, I don't know if this has always been here, but um, you don't even need to type in shred sif. You can just simply click on extract res hkl and real quick, notice that this whole thing is empty, though, though there is a, an olex2 folder that was created when I dragged dropped this into there. But now, with a little bit of magic, extract HKL res. Now it says, HKL file already exists, you don't need to do any more extraction. And if I come over here, there it is. 